what's up guys today was a busy day at the studio and uh, I got something very special for you starting from the basics of a recording studio procedure what happens and today we're going to talk about mixers everyone who comes to the studio first time they actually get carried away by seeing the mixers now what does these mixers do today I'm going to talk to you a simple thing about studio mixers that's part one I cannot explain you everything about the mixers today of course we need uh, various parts where I can explain you what these functionalities are and of course I'm gonna educate you about what these mixers do and how we sound engineers and producers work on these mixers now a lot of people like DJs we have we have mixers what we use basically when we play but uh, what do you do when you're a producer or a sound engineer and what kind of mixers because most of my students always had a question like what does these mixers do you can see that now what does these mixers do yes exactly these mixers basically what we do is we do tracking of vocals we do um, mixing of a uh, lot of tracks which we have recorded already and um, we basically do a lot of edits on this and we do EQing, we do dynamics, a lot of things are in this. So I'm going to explain you a little bit about what this mixer basically does. If you see the part of this mixer where I have channel 1 till 16, then again channel 17 till channel 32. This part is the analog part of the mixer. And this one where you can see this part is the digital part of the mixer and this remote control actually allows me to control my any DAW DAW means digital audio workstation if I press that remote control if you can see this faders it goes up now this actually controls with my digital audio workstation which is Pro Tools which I'm working on so if I'm having channels here from one to whatever I'm working on, these channels come up. Now I'll show you a little bit of example on my mixer. If you see my mixer on the screen, and if you see my mixer here, you can see there, I have muted this, muted this, muted this, all these channels. And it shows that my audio 1, audio 2, audio 3, audio 4, audio 5 and audio 6 is muted. But you can see there as well, which is my audio channels, which are muted. I can even control that from here. For example, if you see my channel number 2, actually I'm moving it here, so I'll show you exactly what happens. Now that's remotely controlled by the mixer and the software or else known as the DAW. Now my DAW here which I use for recording is Pro Tools. So that's the remote control. Now this is digital and this area is analog where I work manually. Now I can mix my tracks in the box or out of the box. Now most of the microphones which are used in the studio environment are using condenser mics. Phantom power supplies are often built into mixing consoles. Mixing console, again, it's a mixer what we use at the studio. Phantom power is a DC electrical power which is transmitted through a microphone, which actually amplifies your sound whenever we actually press the phantom power. Now, let me show you what is a phantom power. 48 volt is what we actually use in the studio mixers. Just wait and see what I'm talking about. Now, that's a phantom power, 48 volt. So when I press phantom power 48 volt and increase the gain, that is the volume level. So I can actually adjust my volume level, what my artist is actually spitting out there or recording the vocals and the amount of power what he uses, I can actually amplify it with this gain. And if I press 48 volt, it will amplify double time. I'm going to show you something where we actually talk about the 48 volt phantom power. I'll show you how my microphone is connected with the 48 volt from here 
to my other side of the room. All right, here we go. Now that's my microphone, for example, on channel one. Now that's my channel one, which controls all of these things. Don't be worried. All these things I'll be explaining you later. Now, that's my 48 volt. If I'm gonna record a vocal, an artist who's there who's gonna sing something, so I'm gonna press that and press the record over my DAW, which is my digital audio workstation, Pro Tools 12. Then after that, increase the gain as much as I want because every artist has got different vocal levels. So I'm gonna increase it as much as I want because I've got 48 volt which is amplified again now I'm gonna show you where my microphone settings are coming up just now, a second. I'm in the vocal booth now my mixer with the 48 volt channel the first channel which I showed you is connected to the microphone here okay this is not the mic which I use usually I was just testing this mic today I just got this mic for the review so I was just testing this mic today and as you can see, this is the XLR cable, how it looks like, which is connected to the microphone. Now, this actually works with condenser mics. Remember that, condenser mics. And that actually amplifies the vocalist who actually sings from here. Faders. What are faders? Now, faders are what we are talking about, like channel faders. Now, these are known as channel faders. Channel 1, channel 2, channel 3 channel 4 I can use these faders for different instrumentations or even vocals for example I have my main voice art artist on channel 1 so this channel 1 which will be my vocals and remember one thing this is mono not stereo mono means 1 stereo means 2 so I'll be recording all my instrumentations on mono now imagine I have a guitarist playing and recording so I'll have my second channel as guitarist. Third channel, if it's, there's a flute player, I'll have a third channel as a flute player. And I can actually record all of them together with this phantom power and a condenser mic in my vocal booth or the recording area. Now, what do you mean by mixing in the box, inside the box or out of the box? There are two ways you can mix it. You can actually record all your tracks there inside the DAW, which is Pro Tools, which I am using, Digital Audio Workstation. And I can actually mix inside this mixer, through this mixer. Now, there are two ways because I have a lot of options here on my mixer itself, what I actually have on software. Now, why do we need to do that? Well, me being an old school guy, I really love to work on, you know, analog systems where I really want to feel my dynamics, well, now what are dynamics like compressors? You know, when we use a lot of DSers, compressors, all these things are known as dynamics, which I'll explain it to you later so you don't have to con get confused about it. Then EQing, I, I would really love to EQ my, um, you know, vocals or anybody who is coming and doing an instrumentation, I would love to EQ it with my, you know, fingers, my hands. I want to feel how I do the EQing, unless I'm using a lot of softwares. Yes, I do use softwares. I'm not saying no for easy and fast go. I do use softwares where I have a lot of my, uh, you know, presets where I do. Okay, I understand this guy is singing at this frequency level. So I do that. Okay, I understand these things. I do my frequencies. But still, there's no fun more than doing it in a manual way like analog. I'm old school. So excuse me for that. Now the best part. What is the best part? Yes, I'm going to show you everything about this mixer day by day in my vlog so please subscribe like or comment i don't mind if it's bad comments or maybe you dislike but if you want to learn something definitely you have to follow this channel so today you saw something about uh, the mixers inside the studio which is not actually like a dj mixer yes tomorrow i'm going to show you more about these mixers and teach you more about how we actually work on this so step by step guys subscribe to this channel like it comment it i don't care if you comment it bad or what but whatever it is please do subscribe see you tomorrow